Hi, welcome to my shop again. We're going to do something a little different. Uh, uh, actually, no turning, but uh, some uh, short little discussion about planning, design, planning. I want to uh, show you my thought process. I wanted to do a square edge bowl. I'm going to do that soon. And I uh, wanted to plan out the process a little bit and uh, came to a conclusion that it was uh, tougher than what I usually do. So I wanted to share you uh, my thoughts on that. Um, so I, uh, I drew a grid on here with uh, boxes. And uh, I can take uh, and look at the shape of bowls. So I've got a a uh, nice football shape bowl here. I've got an OG shape. I've got a deep, deep shape. I've got a shallow shape, uh, undercut rim. I've got a, a calabash gourd kind of shape bowl. So I can do an awful lot of thinking on paper here really quick and just doodle, pretend I'm in kindergarten and just doodle away. Then when I get into hollow forms, I can do the same thing. We can make a small footed bowl. We can make a big footed bowl. We can make different shapes and very quickly visualize something that we like and try to define or refine uh, the shapes a little bit before we even get to the, the piece of wood and the lathe. Uh, rather than just put something on the lathe and see what happens, I'm doing some planning ahead of time to try to jumpstart or shortcut uh, the design decisions. Now when I'm doing a square edge bowl uh, or a natural edge bowl it's a little harder to draw out because of the corners and the air spaces and things so I, f so I found a different way to try to uh, uh, plan the design planning. So what I did is I went over to the lathe and I took just a piece of 2 by 6 just some scrap lumber, and uh, started playing. And uh, my first thought was to make a straight line of the edge of the square edge bowl. And to do that, you have to start off straight in. And if this is the bottom where it's going to sit on the table, when I come straight in, I have to go up first before I start to make a bowl. And then I can make a little bowl shape in there. And part of my decision making is because the piece of wood that I have is from uh, Hawaii and it's got a very uh, white uh, contrast between the fruit wood and the heartwood. And I wanted that to, to show nicely. All right. So that's a piece where I start the, the bowl flat for a while to make this a straight line before I start the curve. And this is one that I did the same way where I started flat for a while, but I've got now the natural edge or the square part at the top of the bowl. This is where it's going to sit on the table down here. And so I go straight in for a while and then I start my curve. And that seems to be more pleasing uh, if I want a straight line than to have the, the square at the top instead of where it's going to sit on the table. All right. Next session I did, I started the bowl right from the corner with a shape down into the bowl, and that made a smile or a curved edge. Okay, and where it's going to sit on the table. Could be a little bit of a foot here or whatever is down here. All right, on this one now, I started the curve of the bowl where this is going to sit on the table. And the curve of the bowl starts up first and then goes back down into the bowl. And I just did these between centers. I didn't finish, you know, anything. I was just wanting to watch what happens to the edge treatment. And now this has a frown, I guess, if you want to call it that where the arc is down, where this it could actually sit on the table here, or it could sit on the table here, but uh, uh, you get the idea. 
So it only took me 10, 15 minutes to make these. And now I've got a model of which one do I like. Do I like the square straight edge? Do I like the curved edge? Do I like the wings to be high coming up where from where it's going to sit on the table? Or do I wing like the wings coming down where it's going to sit on the table? So I've got some choices to make now and easy to visualize. Uh, and you can do this with a crotch or a natural edge piece too if you want to uh, give you a little bit of a head start. So I hope this is a little bit of a help to help uh, plan your design planning. Um, we can do an awful lot ahead of time before we even grab a piece of wood. And uh, especially if we're trying to work with a special piece of wood like this piece I'm going to have from Hawaii, uh, I need, wanted to do some planning before I uh, uh, get into it. And uh, this is a way to uh, jumpstart the planning process. Just a reminder, uh, I'm doing live and interactive remote demonstrations over the internet. Uh, I do them about every two weeks or so, uh, different topics. Uh, the next one will be this square bowl that I'm uh, helping design here. And uh, so stay tuned, keep an eye on my website uh, for the posting on that. The website posting will show the, the different topics that I do over a period of time. And so keep in touch. And uh, stay safe and turn safe, and uh, we'll see you next time.